In this video, I'm going to show you how to record two microphones at the same time in GarageBand. You might be doing this if you're recording a choir or if you're recording a podcast or an interview, setting up the microphones with your audio interface. You might be using the PreSonus AudioBox 96. In my case, I'm using the SSL2+, Plus, but the inputs are the same. We'll make the assumption we're recording a podcast. It's best to keep the gain levels down while you're setting things up and you turn them up when you're checking your levels once you've opened GarageBand. It is good practice when recording vocals to use headphones, not speakers, so you don't create feedback. So have the mains output to the speakers turned to zero and the main headphone output turned up. The headphone output is on the back of the PreSonus AudioBox 96. If you are using a condenser mic that looks like this, you'll need to have the phantom power button pushed in. If you're using a dynamic mic, which looks like this, you don't need the phantom power pushed in. Plug the female end of the mic cable into mic one and the male end into input one on your audio interface. Do the same with the second microphone and plug it into input two. Open GarageBand and choose empty project. We choose the microphone and we want input one, and that's our first microphone. Hit the plus icon, still with the microphone selected, and we'll change this to input two. And that is our second microphone. To hear the microphones through your headphones, you click the input monitoring button on both. The presets on GarageBand are pretty reliable. So if you don't know much about compression or EQ, you can rely on those. Choose voice. For this, we'll just go narration vocal. This would be if you're doing a podcast where you don't really want any effects like reverb or delay. And we'll do the same thing for the other microphone, which is narration vocal. Since I'm recording this tutorial, I have already turned up the gain on mic one and input one. This is mic two. And you can see the gain level is down. So I'm going to slowly turn it up on the audio interface until I get a reasonable level where the green is just touching the yellow, like so. Now I'm back at microphone one. Now, if we're just doing vocals for a podcast or an interview, you don't need a four beat count in. So we can turn that off and we don't need a metronome. So we turn that off. I'm sitting close to both microphones. So as I click between the tracks, they will both register that they are picking up sound. But if I hit the record button, you'll see that only one is recording and the other one is not. If I stop that and I select the other one and hit record, now this one is recording. In order to record both microphones at the same time, you need to go up to track, hit configure track header and enable the record enable button. So you can see there's an extra button on each of the channels and this is the record enable button. So we will enable recording and when we hit record, both channels are now recording. So this is what you would do if you were doing an interview or a podcast and each person had a microphone or if you're recording a choir and you're having two microphones set up apart 